the CBI team that is investigating the multi-crore online trading scam in Assam is still in Dibrugar and carrying out with the probe. The team that reached Dibrugar on Saturday has questioned 25 to 30 investors and employees of the HDFC Bank. For more, more on this, we are now being joined uh, live from Dibrugar by my colleague Ripunjoy Das. All right, so my colleague Ripunja Das is connecting with us in momentarily. Meanwhile, that is, of course, the big development at this point in time as the CBI team, which arrived in Assam a couple of days back, is continuing with its investigation into as many as 41 cases in Assam linked to the multi-crore Assam online trading scam. And as part of their probe, the CBI team has questioned about 25 to 30 investors and employees of HDFC Bank. There, there are of course two teams one of course that is in Guwahati there's another team which is in, in, in Dibrugar the two teams arrived on Saturday and of course the CBI team is also very likely to question the prime accused in the online trading scam that is of course Bishal Fukon and his associates Sumi Bora and her husband Tarkik Bora so that is of course the the latest development viewers as far as the Assam online trading scam is concerned the CBI was earlier officially handed over responsibility of investigating 41 cases related to the multi crore online scam all right i'm now connected with my colleague ripunjoy das joining us live from dibrugar so ripunjoy the cbi is continuing with its investigation into the multi crore online scam so tell us more about what else has been done by the cbi since their arrival in dibrugar on saturday ripunjoy Yes, Ronak, the CBI is continuing with its investigation since it has reached Dibrugar. Uh, we know that uh, a five-member team from the uh, Central Bureau of Investigation has reached Dibrugar from New Delhi and they had started their investigation initially. They had uh, uh, focused basically uh, on the documents which have been seized by the Dibrugar police earlier. And uh, now, Ronak, they are basically uh, trying to uh, examine the uh, persons who had invested money in this uh, huge uh, mammoth uh, online trading scam. Uh, already, uh, the team had already taken uh, version, recorded version of around 25 to 30 people who have invested in this uh, in this uh, business, illegal business, uh, run by uh, the mastermind Bishal Fukan and Sumi Bora. Uh, now uh, they are uh, expected to uh, call up some more people in this regard and uh, carry out their further investigation. Ronak, in between they had also, the CBI team had also uh, uh, called a employee of HDFC Dibrugar Kartik Para branch, uh, sorry, Thana Chaili branch uh, and uh, recorded his version. Also, uh, it uh, took uh, some documents from him like uh, uh, statements of uh, some bank statements and other documents. So, the CBI team is accordingly carrying forward its uh, investigation into this scam. And uh, however, as I said al earlier also during our bulletins, that they are not interacting with the media. They are totally uh, maintaining a gap and um, maintaining a gap with the media here. And uh, since the case is just under investigation, uh, the, we, are, we can expect that more and more people uh, will be called for their versions to be recorded by the team. Ronak? Uh, and of course, uh, Ripunjoy, uh, we are also waiting and co confirmation as to when the CBI team will be getting around to questioning and grilling the prime accused, of course, uh, Bishal Fukon and uh, Sumi Bora as well as Tarkik Bora. So any update on that front, Ripunjoy? Yes, Ronak, that is what we are also waiting for because uh, that uh, will depend upon uh, the when the co CBI approaches the courts with a formal application or petition to uh, seek uh, why, uh, seeking permission to uh, uh, interrogate Vishal Fukan, Sumi Bora, Tarkik Bora, uh, Ranjit Kakoti, uh, 
uh, Abhijit Chanda. These are the persons who are behind the bars in uh, currently lodged in the Dibrugar Central Jail. And uh, during this uh, entire investigation process carried out by the Dibrugar Police so far, these persons have been uh, uh, emerged as the kingpins, as the main persons uh, behind this entire multi crore scam. So, uh, the CBI is uh, maybe they are waiting for some uh, paperwork to be completed and uh, they will definitely move uh, the court uh, seeking per permission to uh, interrogate this person. But when that will ha happen, that is not known. As I said, that the CBI team is totally maintaining a distance from the media, not sharing any kind of information, official information. But whatever we are getting are our from sources. And uh, uh, this, I think, will take some time because they are also uh, focusing equally upon the documents, as I said, which has already been seized by the Dibrugar police. Uh, and certain other items also which are under the uh, under uh, the possession of the police here. Ronak. Right. Hopefully the CBI teams will be more forthcoming about what they are actually investigating and what they're up to in the days to come. For now, Ripon Jodas, thank you very much for all those details.